It's been a while, okay? No, I shot over their head. What do you mean, bro? No! Oh my god, I just missed it! Would you all mind if Loaf just made the video for today? Well, I mean, to be fair, I feel as if most of you guys wouldn't really complain if Loaf made the video, but, um, this is why. <laughs> Because I still can't get over the fact that I look like a child, and I don't really know why I shaved. Well, I know why I shaved, but I know I look ridiculous, so try not to make too much fun of me, okay? I had a different idea in mind as to how I wanted to go about the intro of this video, but it was just too much of the elephant in the room to where it was like, I can't just not start the video and pretend like, you know, nothing is wrong. Or nothing seems off, you know what I mean? But anyways, so yes, I shaved my face. I've made a terrible mistake yet again. It's growing back kind of quickly. I mean, I shaved a couple of days ago, and like, the base of it is already starting to kind of form if, if that makes sense but uh i don't know honestly i guess i was just tired of it and uh my main insecurity of my face is the fact that my beard doesn't connect from like the the mustache like the goatee area i'm extremely self-conscious about my face and i don't know why i thought shaving was a good idea so I, I i don't know i really don't want to spend too much time dwelling on it so anyways here today we're back on some black ops 1 um i really don't know what came over me when i decided i was like you know what i really just want to sit down and play black ops 1 today and today's video honestly is going to kind of have that uh vibe like the uh, the old daily uploads that i used to do kind of ish i guess because the main main idea that I had here for today's video was that I wanted to see how fast I could get banned from a uh, Nuketown server going for an L96 multi. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing here today. And it looks like the only populated Nuketown server is NEC. I know V3X used to be extremely populated. I mean, I haven't played Black Ops 1 going for an L96 multi in months. You have been banned from the server. Wait a minute. What? Hold on. I got banned. Wait. W hold on, what? <laughs> hold on, you know what? I've got an idea. The beauty of having two accounts, I suppose. Just go ahead and switch accounts real quick, and now I should be able to get back onto the server. Okay, so now I've switched accounts here. This video almost ended before it even got started. Okay, now again, I'm gonna join it to NEC. The idea of this video is that, uh, depending how this goes, I'm gonna go ahead and start a timer on my phone here, and I wanna see how long it takes me to get banned for reload canceling on Nuketown servers, because, again, the last time that I really made a lot of Black Ops 1 videos, and actually, as a matter of fact, the last Black Ops 1, or, like, the last dedicated Black Ops 1 video I made was the last episode of Road to the L96 Multi, which was uploaded on April 20th of last year. So needless to say, it's been a little while since I played Black Ops 1-4 video here, and why I thought this was also a good idea, I don't know. So here's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We got the timer going, we're just gonna have this going all throughout the course of me recording this video, and I don't know, we'll see how long it takes to see if I get banned or not. Oh man, this feels weird. I have not played this game in a good while. So here for this video today, I'm basically combining two things that I wanted to do because I just wanted to do another sort of like road to the L96 multi video just because it's been so long. But also at the same time, I wanted this to be kind of like another update video just because I've been extremely busy over the past two weeks or so. I've only had like three videos go up over the past three weeks or so. Again, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter over the past two weeks, uh, recently I went down to Atlanta for the CDL Atlanta event, got the chance to meet a couple of phase guys, which was really cool. If you guys didn't see the Modern Warfare video, go ahead and post a picture here for you you guys and again it's also my community tab but unfortunately i didn't really get the chance to talk to them for so long it was just kind of like a hey hi what's up my name's mike sorage you know what's going on all that kind of you know small talk stuff it was still really cool to interact with them both ran into that said yo i recognize you from twitter which was also pretty cool it's been a while okay Oh my- Well, there was three people right there and I couldn't reload cancel. Oh my god, man. It's been such a long time since getting back on Black Ops 1 and, you know, consistently going for the L96 multi. I've just completely forgotten the muscle memory as to how to do this properly. No! It really only stacked for a double kill, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but still, it would have been kind of cool. Dude, I am so bad at this now! Well, to be fair, I was never really good at it in the first place. I just kind of got lucky after a year and a half of going for this consistently. Oh my god! I'm pissed. I'm so glad I've hit all my L96 multis that I don't need to go for this anymore. I destroyed my mental health going for this over the span of a year and a half that I was really doing road to the L96 multi. Well, anyways, going back to what I was saying, after the CDL Atlanta event, which again was an absolutely fantastic time, initially I was going to be going to PAX last weekend, or now by this point in time, two weeks ago. The plan initially was to go to Boston for PAX East, but that ended up falling through, but shortly right after that, I was invited out to go to Austin, Texas for this new esports arena that had just opened up. I was invited out by them and GF 
fuel, and uh, this server kind of died. All right, that's fine. Overall, it was such a cool experience, so I don't know how or why I personally got selected to go, but I'm so glad I was. Being invited out to this new esports arena, being able to hang out with Butters and a couple of other people from Carnage was super cool. Just the overall experience again was absolutely fantastic. It was a bit of a learning experience for me too, because I also did a, uh, I also ended up doing this interview for G Fuel and the esports arena. I don't know when it's gonna get edited or anything like that. I was so nervous doing that. Like it was just like my real first experience of like going out and being a, uh, would promoter be the right word or influencer, I guess you could say. I really can't stress it enough though. It was such a cool experience because like, that's what I want to do more of. Like besides, you know, this whole content creating thing that I've obviously been doing for years on end now. Being able to more so branch out and do more influencer like stuff, you know, being invited out to events and whatnot. It's such a cool experience for me and I really want to do more of that in the future. And at some point in time in the relatively near future as well, I feel like I need to invest in a vlogging camera and, you know, just like do more sorts of stuff like that. And that was also kind of bad because I relatively broke my wrist trying to kill that guy. No, I shot over their head. What do you mean, bro? No! Oh my god, I just missed it. Oh my god. If I was able to get on Black Ops 1 and just instantly hit an L96 multi, come on, dude. Oh man, I'm starting to get some slight PTSD out here. The amount of Nuketown reload canceling all over again. Jesus, man. I think I mentioned this a little bit ago, but again, I'm so glad I completed my whole road to the L96 multi series when I did, because shortly after that, on both the V3X server and this NEC server here, I think more on the V3X server, they started implementing a lot more rules against uh, reload canceling like this because it's a sniper glitch. Reload canceling. Canceling. Not like you can do that with, I don't know, every other weapon in the game. I'm not trying to get super technical about it, but you guys know what I mean. It's just, again, thankfully I completed it at a time to where I had hit all of the multis that I wanted to. So even if I hadn't at the time, like if I had to keep going, I would have gotten banned from these servers more than likely. I mean, I'm already banned on the NEC server on my main account, which I don't even know what I did. I haven't played on that account in months or I haven't played on that server in months. And like the most amount of time that I've played Black Ops 1 as of recent was uh, to play on Sammy's server on stream. No, stop leaving. Please, I just want to hit one l 9 96 multi. I mean, if I can make it happen in this video, that'd be great. It's Saturday afternoon at two o'clock. Like, what's what's going on here? See, typically at this time, one would assume that, you know, like servers would be populated right now. And usually these Nuketown servers were always filled all the time. Saturday afternoon, prime time hours. People are sitting in corners with shotguns still, but it's not populated. The server's not populated. I just got jumped on by a level eight. That just happened to me. Did it again, K shell. This dude's nuts. And he strafed back onto the care package too. What a mad lad. Was it necessary? I think one rocket was enough. Well, the server finally got populated, and I got my cheeks clapped. Oh, for the love of God, I. Uh, they were all right there and I messed up the reload cancel. Again, they're just sitting and laying in that corner. I, okay, all right. Can't even lie to you guys. All of this is really starting to settle in my PTSD. I'm not happy about it. How did I manage to like sit here and do this consistently? Like just about every week for a year and a half, almost two years going for an L96 multi. Dude, I'm having a miserable time right now. Like I'm so glad, again, I don't have to go for this anymore. And honestly, I almost kind of forgot what I was talking about for a little bit there. So yeah, I talked about the CDL Atlanta event. It was an amazing time. So same again as well with the uh, Austin event, going to the esports arena, doing all sorts of influencer stuff like that was also really cool. But uh, when I got back earlier this week on Monday, all throughout the course of this week, I had all of my midterms for university and I had to take care of everything with that. I had to study and actually, you know, be a college student for a minute. And now that thankfully all of that is done, I'm now on spring break all the way up until next Sunday or at least uh, next week whenever this video goes up, which is a very much needed break just so I can kind of get back into the swing of things a little bit, kind of get ahead on recording videos and streams, kind of get back caught up with everything. I've just felt so inactive over the past, like, again, three weeks, but I've just been traveling so much, and I feel so bad that I've been kind of uh, disconnected from you guys in that sense. Oh, I was hoping for a collateral right there. That would have been nice. You gotta be joking me. He's using second chance, dude. Oh, my goodness. The real wacky man, man. You are a real fucking clown for using that perk. No! No! Timing in this game, regardless of going for an L96 multi, is just so nice, man. No, you don't deserve to be revived. <sighs> man. Oh 
I'm pissed, dude. Oh my god. I haven't even been playing for an hour and a half, and it feels like an eternity has gone by, man. Seriously, how did I manage to sit here and do this again on a weekly basis for like two years? How did I do this? What was wrong with me? Nope, 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 nope. I can't handle it anymore. V3X isn't populated either. I was gonna try that, but it's just, it's it's not happening. Okay, I'm done. I really thought that was gonna go over well. Like, I really thought I was gonna get on and hit an L96 multi just easily. Like, no, that, it doesn't happen for me like that. I mean, also at the same time, I thought that was gonna go over a lot better. But then again, it's a Nuketown server, and I should have remembered exactly what it was like. But now I do. I feel like at some point in the future, I definitely will come back on to Black Ops 1 and make some sort of, like, sniping highlights video that's just, you know, not all l96 multi i also did mention this earlier in the video but sammy does have a server on this it's a dom best map server and every once in a while while we're streaming we'll go ahead and get the server populated so i feel like at some point in time i can definitely make a video on that if that's something you guys are interested in and it's something that you guys want to see so once again though guys that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed i just wanted this to be a relatively short i don't really know how long this video is going to be just kind of like quick update video as to what's been going on over the past couple of weeks again with the whole cdl atlanta event then going to austin was going to go to pax but that didn't happen this video was extremely reminiscent of the old daily upload videos that I wanted to do, but uh, I'm definitely dragging out this outro now. So once again, though, guys, hope you all have enjoyed this Black Ops 1 video. If you guys want to see some more Black Ops 1 in the near future, go ahead and let me know that down in the comment section below. It's been Sore Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.